Nodunk Records is a German flat earth YouTuber who has made it his personal quest to take beautiful footage of this earth and cleverly manipulate it until it fits his false beliefs that the earth is indeed not curved but flat. In the past I have analyzed his deceptive work and I took back then the position that he wasn't doing this on purpose but that he accidentally got the results that he wanted. I think that by accident his program spilled out a straight horizon and since that comported with his beliefs he just went with the result. However his latest work suggests something different. In the past couple of days Nodong has shared two high altitude balloon videos and another rocket launch at least his personal interpretation of them. He performed three completely different so-called corrections. Instead of removing the same barrel distortion that is present in all of these clips in a similar way. It looks like he doesn't want to remove the fisheye effect to more accurately depict reality, but to rather eliminate the evidence that destroys his silly beliefs and to turn the footage into something that supports his narrative. And that's the reason why I'm guessing he is doing it on purpose, deliberately making the horizon straight, whatever the consequences for the rest of the clips. Now Nodonk gets credits for stating that the original footage from all of these launches suffer from barrel distortion due to the usage of a fisheye lens. He communicates about this in his videos, so I'm happy that we are on the same page about that. But there our agreements stop. In the blue origin footage that shows a rocket climbing from ground to space, arguably, the horizon is always in view and is displayed rather horizontal. The rocket doesn't tumble around, luckily. And if we take the horizon at ground level as our reference and we tweak the correction a bit, we notice that the horizon goes from straight to curved. That's because when the rocket climbs through the atmosphere, we expect to see more of the curve of the Earth. Nodonk, however, shows a straight horizon at Apogee, that's the highest point of the flight. And this, of course, results in a hollow Earth at ground level. So he clearly over defished the footage. Instead of using the horizon at ground level as a measurement for the amount of distortion, he assumed a straight horizon seen from space. But there's more. Barrel distortion is a type of radial distortion and when correcting for it, you may only move pixels away from and towards the center of the frame. And pixels that are equally far from the center should be moved equally strong. Nodong, however, vertically compressed the footage while horizontally stretching it, performing some very strange gymnastics. And that's forbidden. He is getting away with it uh, because the horizon runs somewhat parallel to the x-axis of the frame and you wouldn't notice his deception easily. But it's not at all how you remove a fisheye effect. Check my other videos for a deeper dive into all of this. Nodonk saw these videos and apparently learned something from them because in the next clip he did indeed properly correct for the barrel distortion. As we can see in the original footage some beams from the launch tower appear curved while they are straight in reality and they run in all orientations and directions. A very useful grid to match our corrections with. The goal is to make all the beams appear straight. When you still have the beams to curve around the center you need to add some correction but when they appear like this, you overly fished the footage and if they all appear perfectly straight, you did a good job. The beams that are the most useful are the ones that run perpendicular to the radii of the lens, so the ones here at the edges. But all the beams are straightened out, you play the video and you see the globe in all its glory. Yet, Nodon shows you again a straight horizon at the highest elevation. If I'm not mistaken, we can expect to find some over the fished beams, but at first glance, it seems that the beams are straight. Especially the ones that run along the radii of the lens, but they aren't affected by the fisheye lens that much anyway. So upon closer inspection, we see that the beams are indeed over the fished. The correction is too much. Apparently, just adding some text saying that all the beams are straight is enough to throw sand in his followers' eyes. But does he expect that we don't check his work? Finally, I want to share the little piggy high altitude balloon footage and this was recorded using a GoPro. And while we see a big clue in the curve of the metal rod here, it becomes even more apparent after the balloon bursts. Now we see that the horizon goes from convex to concave and back. 
When the horizon hits the center of the frame, where the distortion would not affect the straightness of a straight line, we find a curved horizon. But Nodunk used a section where the curved horizon was already straightened out as a result of the GoPro lens. So how did Nodunk remove the barrel distortion in this one? Well, he didn't. The distortion during the entire short clip he shared resulted already in his desired outcome. And if he had focused on the metal rod as his independent measurement, he would no longer be a flat earther. He would show the curve of the earth. And to trick his audience even further, he moved the footage up, cropped it a bit and added some color corrections to make it appear as if the horizon already hits the center of the frame to hide the fact that this is in fact not a rectilinear lens. So I don't know about you, but to me this smells like intentional deception and not like a series of bad luck and happy accidents. And funnily enough, a couple of other flat earthers or truthers have been inspired by his work. Taboo Conspiracy, obviously, mirrored the video over on his channel confirming Ben's constant, but also creator Earth Research did his own thing with it. As you can see during the flight of the Swedish rocket the Matthews 5, there are a lot of clouds scattered around. But Crater couldn't resist screen recording his phone in potato quality, adding some color adjustments and comparing the cloud layers to Africa, all the way from the Arctic Circle. Because why not? Now this stands in great contrast to the crisp, sharp, ultra-high quality that Nodong prefers and that we discussed earlier. Yet Nodong did share this ridiculous record claim with his followers over on Telegram. I have to say I didn't expect that, honestly. So we have the moving islands of Crete from Israel, the Hallelujah Alps mountains from Wales and now Africa from Lapland. I wonder what the next claim will be. But whatever the case, if unicorns existed, dickheads would ride them over a rainbow. And with those wise words in our hearts, whatever they are meaning, take care my fellow apes and bye bye.